I'm ready to kiss off cold temperatures for the season. I think, you have, do to, that? I think you have to wait at least a day or at least One overnight. More night. One more night. Isn't so there a, is there a frost warning? Am I a frost advisory? advisory yeah, okay. for tonight. So uh, not quite as cold for tonight, but still we're most likely most likely going to get down to the 30s for most locations. After that, though, we are home free for the foreseeable future, especially Good. as we head towards that weekend. Looking like a fantastic forecast. Yay. Everyone who's ready Wonderful. for summer, you want to just skip ahead to summer? No, because I love spring, but oh. I don't like when winter <laughs> hangs when on. When winter like invades. This. When it's the end of April and it's 30 degrees yeah, tonight. I mean, we're days from May. That's fair. That's very fair. But you know what? We're just going to skip ahead to summer and um, feel like it as we head towards the weekend. We've got beyond tomorrow morning all above average temperatures in that forecast. So if you're not a fan of the cold, you're definitely going to be looking forward to that weekend. Uh, temperatures mid 70s for us on Saturday. A chance we could see some showers, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder, especially through the morning, early afternoon hours. Sunday is going to be even warmer. Low 80s will be the case for us through the afternoon. It looks like the drier day overall for the weekend if you're trying to make some outdoor plans, but still just a very small chance for a stray shower or rumble of thunder out there on Sunday, but still going to be significantly warmer than what we had yesterday and even what we have today. Started off this morning at 30 degrees at Cleveland Hopkins. We have made improvements since, since then. Uh, sitting at 49 right now. Most of the areas away from Lake Erie are sitting in the 50s uh, this afternoon heading into the evening hours, but that north wind at about 16 miles per hour means that areas closer to the lakeshore are coming in a little bit cooler. Everyone, though, has been enjoying that fantastic sunshine, which is such a nice change after all the clouds we had yesterday. High pressure has settled in, so that's going to keep us clear as we go through the evening and overnight. Even into tomorrow morning, we're still going to see plenty of sunshine ahead of our next system. That is developing through the plains and heading towards the Midwest. We've got showers and thunderstorms across Missouri. Uh, clouds now extending into areas of Illinois, so for tomorrow, we'll see the clouds ahead of any rain. I think most of us make it through the vast majority of Friday on the drier side. Now tonight we are going to be clear and it's still going to be cold by April standards. Our average low is about 44 degrees. We're going to drop back into the 30s again for most areas. Not as cold as last night, but we will notice those temperatures falling off very quickly as we get past sunset, which is around 820 PM. So we do drop back into the mid to upper 30s for most locations. So that's enough that we could see some potential frost concerns. So we are going to have frost advisories in place for tonight. Again, if you have any of that tender vegetation, do what you can to protect that before you go to bed tonight. Not as cold tomorrow morning, but still a frosty start for some of us. Beyond that, though, we warm up quite a bit as we go through your Friday. National Design Mart Hour Barrow forecast going to show a lot of sunshine through the morning. Clouds will try to work in, especially as we get into the late afternoon heading into the evening. For most of us, our temperatures are going to be about 15 to 20 degrees warmer than what we had today. Many of us make it in the low 70s through the afternoon. Again, I think we stay dry through at least commute time tomorrow evening. Then as we get later into the evening and overnight, we will track some showers arriving. Those showers are going to be with us through the overnight. And as we head into Saturday, it's going to be a much warmer start to the day. The chance for some showers, maybe a brief rumble of thunder will be out there. We start the day off in the 50s. We're going to end up through the afternoon looking a little bit drier and much warmer. Temperatures get a nice boost up into the mid 70s. So looking fantastic through that second part of your Saturday. If you're trying to make plans for the weekend, definitely encourage you to be outdoors enjoying those warm temperatures. We get back into the 80s on Sunday with that Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. We hold on towards 80 as we get into Monday. A chance for a couple areas of showers and thunderstorms into next week. But as we wrap up April and head into May, all of our temperatures guys are looking above average, which is going to be a nice that. change after yesterday and today. And the weekend looks like perfect power washing weather. So yes. that's that's what's on my that's what's Is on that my slate. Is that why you're coming to my house? Whatever, whatever's <laughs> on your agenda. I wondered why you wanted to visit. When, when I'm done with mine, Thank you. then I'll be over to you. Volunteer. Okay.